Hey guys, Davison here. I am emerging from my hibernation on my sofa. I've been really kind of um, um, lethargic lately. I was going to say cathartic, but no, not cathartic. Lethargic. But I wanted to teach you guys something. So now YouTube has this awesome new feature that we're going to show you, which is end screen options so instead of annotations now what you can do is you can add elements such as a video or playlist a subscribe button another channel or a link over laid over your video and they will appear both on youtube and on mobile so it's actually surprisingly easy to use it's just like the former youtube annotations which was basically click your option and then drag it and then modify the parameters. So, so for instance, we're going to do this first. So we'll go through them one by one. So create a video or playlist. So you have the option of your most recent upload, which will of course shuffle every time you upload something new. The one that YouTube believes is probably best for the viewer, which from what I can tell, they base based on your tags and your title and um, you can choose a video or playlist. So you can even use a video that's on an entirely different channel. Um, best for viewer, like I said before, is entirely driven by metadata and maybe even watch time. So let's create, I'm gonna say, actually I'm curious, what's gonna be best for the viewer for this one? I bet you it's gonna be another one of my 100 layers videos. So now what you can do is you can go, okay, I want this bigger. Do I want this? Well, you can't make it smaller than that. So, but you can make it bigger and you just move it around within this wireframe. So, oh, we can also turn the preview on. Oh, so it's going to tell people to watch my uh, Jello bikini video. That's funny. So it's not telling them another um, hundred layers video. Um, and down here is where you can, like with annotations, just change out the timing. Though it seems as though the difference being that annotations can only be placed or end screen annotations can only be placed the last 20 seconds of the video, but you can make them shorter or longer. See, okay. So you actually also have to to, to add at least two elements, one of which absolutely has to be a video. So of course I'm gonna create my little subscribe button. So let's go there. Nope, it's not, that would be bad if it was behind the video. So let's put it over here. Oh, there's my logo. And then we're going to promote another channel. So we'll promote my vlogging channel, which is Davison. Oops, actually it's Davison Video, but it's under the name. Um, 100 jobs. I am great at vlogging. There we go. Create element. And it's hidden, so we're going to just drag it here. Oh, there's my other one. Look at all these cute little stickers, guys. And finally, let's create a link. So um, let's create a link to my website, which is www.davisonvideo.com slash press. There we go. Perfect. Oh, wait, why did I do that? <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, so press. And then you can also link to merchandising sites and crowdfunding sites. So next, and again, it's just going to do all the work for me. I can change the title. Um, I can tell them to do different things. I can even change the image, which that's my beginning um, preliminary logo for Davison videos. So I might want to change that later. So why don't we just put learn more, create element. And again, that's hidden behind there. So then we'll put it here. Look at all these beautiful elements. And I haven't changed their length, um, but I could. And I could add another one if I really wanted to overwhelm people with so many options that they don't even know what to do. So we're previewing it right now. Look at this. Oh, wow, looks so colorful and pretty. I'm so proud of this. This video did so poorly, by the way. It only has like 1,200 views. So you should watch it. Look, I'm like doing a dance right now. <laughs> so I hope I helped you guys out. And um, you know now how to do the end screen cards um, on YouTube. And 
just a word of warning, if you do select this option, it will delete all your previous annotations. And you can only either choose to use annotations or an end screen. It's not both because it, it would just be too complicated for YouTube from a programming standpoint. So there you go. There they are. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, which is my vlogging channel, Davison Video, and my main channel, which is Davison Space Video. I know that seems rather complicated, but that's the way it is. So hope I helped you out and have a great day. Saving my changes.